Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to clear the Windows Update cache and hopefully resolve issues you're experiencing with Windows Update. So, this tutorial will apply for those running the Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 operating systems. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Star menu, and you want to type in Services. One of the best matches should say services from this list and there should be a little gear icon next to it as well. You want to left click on that to open up that entry. And now in the services view, I'm going to just drag the little corner over here to make it a little bit wider for us to better see where we're going. I'm going to look for the first service that we're going to be working with today. That's the background intelligent transfer service. I'm going to double click on that. Underneath startup type, you want to set it to automatic delayed start or automatic and underneath service status it might say started you want to click on the stop button basically you want to stop the server so you want to make sure the startup type is going to run automatically that's basically what we're doing here and then you want to click on apply and ok to save the change and now you want to scroll down to get to windows update right here and you want to double click on that same deal make sure startup type is either set to automatic or automatic delayed start Underneath service status, you want to make sure it's set to stop. So click on the stop button if it's not already selected. Then click on OK. Now at this point, you can close out of here. Open the start menu up, and you want to type in computer. One of the best managers under programs should say computer. You want to left click on that. Now you want to go underneath whatever drive Windows is installed on. For most people, it should be the local disk. So we're going to double click on that and there also should be a little Windows icon above the hard drive as well. And now you want to double click on the Windows folder and now scroll down to get to software distribution. Double click on that and now anything listed in here we're going to delete so just left click on the mouse pointer so hold down the left mouse clicker drag over all these entries and then I'm going to right click and then left click on delete to select all these and move them to the recycling bin. Not only will this free up a little bit of room on your hard drive, but this is also just clearing out unnecessary updates, backups that have been made over the span of however long this computer has been operating for. So there could be quite a few updates that are no longer necessary that are being stored in here. And I want to just be very clear, we're not actually uninstalling any updates through this, we're just removing any cached copies. So now that the startup types for both of the Windows Update critical services have been set to automatic, once you restart your computer they should be turned on. I would recommend that at that time you do run another Windows Update check after you've restarted your device and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.